Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Apple Monitor here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some new rumors and some new leaked photos that have came up about possible prototype of the iPod Touch 5G, which is the iPod Touch 5th generation. Now, there's been a lot of iPhone 5 rumors, and a lot of you guys have been asking for me for a video about an iPod Touch, so here you have it. So the first post is on 9to5Mac, and they're just saying that they got pictures in their mailbox today of a supposedly prototype of an iPod Touch 5G. And apparently this prototype does have 128 gigabytes of storage. And if you notice down here, you can't really tell, but the home button is a capacitive home button, which means that it's one of those home buttons that you don't actually press down like you do the iPhones or iPod Touch currently. It's one of those that you just tap it and it should do the actions that you tell it to do. So a lot of you guys might be saying that this is kind of annoying because if this does happen, if you notice, if you ever have dealt with the capacitive home button, uh, they're not very responsive sometimes, especially when you're in applications and stuff like that. But uh, due to Apple's track record, if they do do this, I think it will be responsive because Apple does usually do everything right. This can also create the possibilities for multitasking gestures on the capacitive home button, which means that you can slide your finger across and it will switch between applications or something along those lines. Now, I don't think they're going to implement this personally, but hopefully this will come in the later generations, hopefully in the iPod Touch 6 or iPhone 6, because I think now is too early, and hopefully eventually they take out the home button so we can just use the multitasking gestures that were released in iOS 4.3 Beta 1. Now I'm going to show you guys another post on Crunch Game. And this is pretty much just saying the same thing, but they do confirm it more than a 9 to 5 Mac does because, as you can see here, they say on the back it says DVT1, which was a batch found on other leaked iPod Touch prototypes, and this one has it as well. So, this one pretty much says the same thing as 9 to 5 Mac does. So, I'm just going to show you guys some more pictures. So as you can see here, it is running on 4.2.1. It's really hard to see because the camera that shot this was a really crappy camera. So this is leading people to think that this iPhone has been around for a while. So that's why people think it may not be real. And I kind of agree with that in some respect. And this next one is just a picture of the settings about showing the 4.2.1 firmware. And it's really hard to see this as 128.5 gigabytes. And then you got the DVT1 right here. Again, very hard to see. I don't expect you guys to be able to see that. Then you just got a backing. It's kind of an aluminum backing, the one rumored to be on the next iPhone 5, which is, again, leading people to think that this may be the next iPod Touch. Then you just got another picture of the front-facing camera right here and just the complete front of the iPod Touch. Now, do I think this is real? Personally, I don't think this is the most real iPod Touch, but I'm just going to quickly talk about some features that were not mentioned that can possibly be on this next-generation iPod Touch. So first off, I think the next-generation iPod Touch will definitely have a 4-inch touchscreen, if not this one or the iPod Touch 6, but considering the new iPhone is getting a bigger touchscreen, this one should follow in its tracks like it usually has in the years past. And also, I think this will get a higher resolution camera. For those of you iPod Touch 4G users, I don't know if you noticed, but your camera is only about 0.92 megapixels. But you might be saying, oh, it records in 720p HD. That doesn't mean anything. The point is that it shoots pictures in 0.92 megapixels, which is very, very sloppy and bad, in my opinion. Um, I think this will be an upgrade in camera, probably about 2 to 3 megapixels in my opinion, if not more. So hopefully that is another thing we can look forward to. And yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I got a, some requests about it, so that's why there wasn't too much information, but that was the most I could compile. And I also found some new leaked photos on the iPod Nano, the possible 6th or 7th generation one. So if you guys want to see that video, just like this video, and depending on how many likes I get, I'll post that one up too. So guys, sorry, this is kind of a bad video. Just leave your comments down below if you had any questions or requests. And ultimately, subscribe and have a nice day.